Welcome to the grind session. Uh, now it's time to wet sand the headlights. Uh, first we're using 600 grit paper uh, and as I said before uh, in the first part it's uh, pretty abrasive for a uh, plastic compound but you need it because you have to remove all the clear lacquer and the clear lacquer on the headlights are pretty hard because it's been it's supposed to sit there forever it doesn't that's why it yellows uh, you can see by the result here I've used um, I think 30 minutes or so uh, with 600 grit paper as you can see you can see very clearly uh, the small lines from um, the sanding uh, and that's why we are going to use a uh, 1200 grit paper afterwards to smoothen out it but you won't be able to see the difference I think not very much anyway um, the thing that you do no notice is if you get leftovers from the clear lacquer, like here, you can see edges and uh, stuff, uh, especially over here. I will show it uh, also uh, when I sand uh, uh, this one, this head head un headlight unit I haven't started with yet. Uh, I will start and I will show you how it looks and how to work it out. Since it's wet sanding, uh, you will need <laughs> something wet but also uh, and one might uh, ask oneself this when one looking at that and looking at this is why in the hell do you do that because I want it to look better than that so when we put on the clear coat here hopefully <laughs> they will look like new but anyways uh, you need to be um, rather strong but not too strong as you can see, it, uh, at least my clear starts to bubble a bit after a while. Maybe it's some King product or something from before. But I use only uh, water and uh, the paper. If you do, if you are short of uh, short on time, don't do this. Uh, turn them into your local uh, paint shop or something. They will probably, hopefully give you a good price I don't know but I enjoy to do it myself and also uh, the job is much much more easy to get to now that the, the headlight units are not on the car so the trick with removing all the small scratches and stuff with a 600 grit paper is of course when you put on the clear they will be completely smooth so this is the prep work for the clear coat and if you don't do this as good as can be you will have a bad end result now it looks like this part is much better than that part but as soon as the moisture grow goes off you will see that it's going to start to fade and there you go so now we're starting to um, eat on the clear coat. I want all the clear coat to, to um, be removed. And now you can see it's quite quite haste but also there are a lot of small stone chips and stuff in the plastic um, like here. I don't know if you see it on the camera maybe 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 not but those will also most of those will also be gone when you're off, when you are through with if you want to use um, straight lines crisscross or uh, wax on wax on approach it doesn't matter because this is the removal part and afterwards you will use a much finer paper that will smooth out the surface I for one, like to um, wipe them off ever so often because it will build up with uh, debris and contamination in the fluid here. As you can see, it starts to bubble, and that is the things that goes off from the headlights.
Okay. And to see where you're going and uh, how far you have gone. Just look here and you see again now this, this is pretty haste and up here you can see uh, quite clearly that up here you can see the edge where the clear coat is still left very much all of it pretty much all of it of course up here down here we're starting to work our way down so i will do just one small area and see if, if i can uh, break a hole in the clear coat And also because I don't want to mask it off too much, I will try to make as straight an edge as I possibly can of top here on the indicator where the indicator is because I want to smooth out. Because if you have too much of an edge, you will clearly see it when you put on the clear coat. So don't push like you're human and don't be too weak as a baby, but something in between. I think it's time to uh, change the paper. As you can see on the dishcloth, you can see uh, the, uh, the dirt from... Uh, it's plastic and clear coat. That's what, what's on the here. Okay, now you can see a very clear difference from here to here. It starts to um, get a nice shine to it, or uh, a dull shine to it, <laughs> but this is what we want to achieve. And after this is achieved, uh, you will use the 1200 paper. I think you get uh, the drift. You have to, um, you have to use your muscles. From Brussels? <laughs> no, that's cheap. No, no, no. No, just uh, put in the work, take your time, and if you're not satisfied because you had taken it too light, that's good because then you can repair it by doing some more work. If you are too strong and push too hard and you will make deep scratches, you will not be so happy because that will not be removable. With other words, take your time, use your brain, and uh, then the result will be much better and you will be happier. So that is part two, uh, the sanding process and the next part we will take up is how to uh, mask it off and clear coat it. And also, uh, this is very important, uh, I almost forgot, <laughs> uh, because the headlight units are plastic and um, we're sanding with um, a paper backed thing, uh, you build up static electricity and static is static that means that you have to remove it somewhere and um, I for one have a metal object and that's my watch on uh, you can also use a ESD a bracelet and connect it to um, something with metal or uh, to here or something but also as a precaution I put it on uh, on the metal bench and that will soak up some of the static not all but um, unfortunately if you're unlucky you can build up so much static that you will not be able to spray you can actually feel it with, with your hand yeah this one is much worse you can feel i can feel my hair on the back of my fingers um, but it was much worse a couple of days ago when i went berserk also uh, you should use uh, cotton cloth so as little plastic on you as uh, possible that also reduces the static uh, that builds into the headlight units. So try to um, keep the static uh, electricity under uh, wraps and you will be able to spray them. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's it for uh, this part. So over and out. <laughs>